Here we have another u sub problem. I know that because we have 3t squared times the square root of t cubed minus 4. So it would be another one that looks like a product rule and also a chain rule since we have that square root on there. So definitely a complicated derivative, which means it's going to be u sub for the antiderivative. So my first task is to figure out what u is. So between the first factor and the second factor, I would say the second factor is being manipulated since it's under a square root. It's really raised to the one-half power. So I'm going to call that one my u. So instead of x's, we have t's, which is okay. We're used to things being with respect to time. So we want to be used to t's. And then we're going to take the derivative of what we just found, du dt. Derivative of t cubed is just 3t squared. Derivative of negative 4 is 0. And then we're just going to multiply both sides by a dt. That way we can cancel out that denominator and have our u and our du. So looking at this, we're going to do our substitution. We're really taking the antiderivative of u to the 1 half. We just subbed in for everything under the square root. And then what we have left is a 3t squared dt, which is perfect because we need to have a 3t squared dt in order to be allowed to write our du in there. That way we can take the antiderivative. So if u to the 1 half du, we're ready to take our antiderivative. We might have to do some side work if you're not great with fractions, just to add these since you might not be able to do it in your head. But 1 half plus 1 is going to be 1 half plus 2 halves, which is 3 halves. So we would have 1 over 3 halves, u to the 3 halves, which we want to remember that when you have a fraction as your power, it gets flipped out front. So 1 divided by 3 halves is really the same thing as 2 thirds. So again, u, the new power is 3 halves, and instead of writing 1 over 3 halves out front, it gets flipped to be 2 thirds. So our new power is 3 halves. Out front we have a 2 thirds plus k. So our antiderivative is 2 thirds u to the 3 halves. And our final step is the question was in terms of x, so the answer should be in terms of x. So I'm going to leave some space here and switch back to x's. Or in this case, the question was in terms of t's, so our answer will be in terms of t's. So I'm going to look back at what u was and replace it. u is the same thing as t cubed minus 4. So our antiderivative is going to be 2 thirds t cubed minus 4 to the 3 halves plus c. Just another product rule example, but we have t's instead of x's.